What's up guys, today I'm gonna do a review on this Predator uh, generator. I don't do review videos very often, but I've been living off grid from December to December for literally almost a year. We're just days away from it being a year and there are over a thousand hours on this sucker. This is the Harbor Freight Predator 3500 generator. It's the quiet one with all the bells and whistles. So let's check it out a little bit closer. So hopefully you can see this pretty well. Uh, you got two parallel outlets right here. I've honestly never used them. Uh, you can ground it right here. I've honestly never done that. I probably should. And then you have your AC 120 volt right here. This you could do, you know, a uh, travel trailer, RV, something like that. Uh, I think even a uh, welder and then you got some uh resets right there and then you got ac 120 volt right here just normal uh plug-ins and then you have your dc 12 volt 8 amp max right here with the reset then this is where this sucker comes in handy big time so this is the i guess like eco boost uh button right here so if you turn it on it's absolutely awesome so you see if it was off you turn it on and it slows down the engine so it doesn't burn as much gas so if you're using less than 25 percent of the generator's power then you can keep it in eco mo mode and it will run hours and hours and hours i have had this thing run up to 14 hours before on one take of gas and one take of gas is about two gallons so you know gas isn't even over two dollars right now so for five bucks you can run this sucker for about 14 hours if you're running under the uh, 25 percent uh capacity on this sucker then of course you got your start button here on and off and then off run and start so i'm gonna go and crank this up and show you guys how many hours are on this all right so it's on the off position you're gonna move it down here to start super simple once it cranks on you're just gonna flip it to run and on here's your eco mode, but right now, just start it up. And then, there you go. So it starts up real easy. I've honestly never, I think there's a pull cord on this side. I've never used it. Let's try it real quick. I've honestly never used it. So we'll put it on start. Let's put it on. All right, let's go. So not bad. And I'm gonna let this run while I talk. Of course, since it's right next to me, a normal generator, there ain't no way you can hear what I'm saying. So the fact that you can actually hear a conversation over this is freaking amazing. And I got this off, normally with an open body generator, it is like a go-kart in your ear. I mean, it's insane, it's super loud. Uh, I do live fully off-grid out here. I have no overhead power, no water, no nothing like that. This is my sole power other than little uh, battery bank solar things that I have. And half the time, because of the sun not really being out, I have to charge it with this. So when this is going sometimes i forget that it's going and sometimes i can hear the neighbors down the way i can hear their generator over this one so that's pretty freaking crazy how quiet this is that you can hear a generator you know pretty freaking far away and uh you hear that one over this one so clearly it's the uh 3500 this is from harbor freight and it does everything you could possibly need it to do. So let's talk about the power. So when I first bought this, I was gonna move off grid and have a travel trailer. I had a 20 foot travel trailer, so I bought this. I hooked it up with this uh, 120 volt uh, little plug-in right there. And it powered the entire thing. I mean, I had the AC going full blast, had the refrigerator on, I had all the lights on, had the microwave going. I had everything going that I possibly could have going. I had stuff plugged in the outlets, like fans in the outlets going, and it didn't even pull half of the power of this. It was up there, but not half. So you could potentially run two 20-foot travel trailers with this and still have a little bit of uh, power left over. Again, I live fully off-grid out here, and I'm in the middle of the woods. I'm currently living in this tiny little uh, 
micro tiny house i'm building a full-on tiny house if you haven't checked out the rest of my videos and i've done everything with this it powers my miter saws little circular saw chop saw uh you know the jigsaw i charge all my uh drills with it my grinder everything that you can think of that i have out here to build i have used this i've used this again to charge my solar generators it's supposed to be getting solar power but the sun isn't out during the winter so i use this i've used this to do um heat sources yeah kind of like uh, space heaters whenever i didn't have a stove in my uh, tiny house so this thing can do it all and i am very very shocked again this has over a thousand hours and i've been out here for almost a year i'm gonna go ahead and say it's a year because it's from december to december and this sucker has not let me down i think it roughly cost about eight hundred dollars um i was pretty upset that when i went to go buy it i can't remember if it was like right before i think it was right before they had a sale and it was on sale for six hundred dollars but oh well it's well worth the uh eight hundred dollars and i'll say this there is a battery right here uh for your electric start you technically i guess don't need it if you're doing the uh pull start but if it doesn't if this doesn't start for any reason it could be your battery but i'll say this only one time has it not started and that's because i let the oil level get too low i've only changed this twice the oil in this twice in one year and the only time it's ever not turned on was because the oil was too low and that is a safety uh, thing that they have set up if the oil gets too low it won't turn on you can't burn your generator up so what you do is there is a spot right here you take this off and then you could uh put more oil in you could check it and all that that's just right here it's very simple the battery's right here you can use this and it'll lock your wheels in the front so it won't roll off or whatever the case may be i never do that i don't know i don't see this thing rolling off anywhere but uh it again has a pull cord on the side if you need it the gas it's about two gallons of gas and for under five bucks you can run this sucker anywhere from eight hours to 14 hours depending on the load now if you have this thing full blown you know being utilized you probably get about eight hours out of it but if you're using eco mode then you could get up to 14 hours and i've done that again i have lived fully off grid for one year from december to december and this sucker has done it all and i'll say this i have not been kind to this i have put it to the test i really wanted to see i mean you could tell it's dirty it's beat up uh it's you know scratched and dented and stuff and i have had this where i throw it in my truck i take it out every time i used to leave i used to take it with me um, it's been left out in the snow the rain the frost the heat uh hail hails hit it i mean anything you any weather you can think of here in oklahoma has hit this sucker and i am blown away that it still works and the fact that it still works to me this could be possibly the best generator for the price and potentially the best quiet generator out there I have never used Honda, but from all the reviews, this is the competitor big time. I know a lot of people from reviews and stuff like that that said they've used this, and it's phenomenal. Uh, the Honda generator is, I think, roughly $2,000, maybe over $2,000, and this is $800. Bucks. So you can buy two of these for the price of one Honda generator. So in my thinking was, all right, I'm gonna test this. And if it can get through a year and over a thousand hours with the way I treat it, you could probably get several years out of this. So then it say if it breaks down, you go buy another one and you still save money compared to buying the Honda generator. So this sucker is absolutely amazing. I highly recommend it. It literally has kept me alive out here in the woods with no other power there's literally no overhead power no nothing out here i don't have full solar on the house yet or anything like that so i have used this literally almost every single day again i don't really do review videos and i'm not getting paid i'm not this isn't a sponsored ad this is nothing this is just my true full-blown opinion to help you guys out if you're trying to go off grid maybe you just want to have it in case power goes out i highly recommend this i can't say that enough highly 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 recommend this generator so feel free to go to your harbor freight 
check it out look at it i think now they make a 2000 series instead of 3500 so it maybe if you don't need this much power you can get that one but really and truly i think it's just a couple hundred dollars less so i would just upgrade to this and you'd be good but maybe you need something smaller or whatever i don't know you can figure that out yourself but do i think you should buy the honda um generator over this I'm going to say no. I think go with the Predator. I think go with Harbor Freight. And yes, a lot of Harbor Freight stuff is junk. This is not. Uh, I buy a lot of stuff from Harbor Freight, and some of it is complete garbage. This is not one of those things. This thing has outdone my expectations for a long time. I thought this thing would be dead already. And again, there's over a thousand hours on this. I think it was a thousand and twenty-four, if I remember, and oh, for about a year. So do I recommend it? yes so go out get one hopefully you guys uh enjoyed this review hopefully you guys want to stick around and watch me build more micro tiny houses um, i'm building a bigger tiny house and doing all that stuff so if you're new to the channel i appreciate you guys checking this out if you've been around hey hopefully you like the review video and maybe i'll do more for other stuff that uh i truly like and if you have been around you know i don't do this often so uh i am a very very honest channel and if this was a piece of junk i'd let you know i wouldn't let you waste your money so hey go to harbor freight pick one up hopefully see you guys on the next video